Hi everybody, it's Kathleen, and let me just tell you, you haven't lived until you've been to an Ohio thrift store. So let me take you along. Today our quest is to find a super brightly colored clothing. It's spring, basically, and I want to dress like it. So I'm not sure if I'm looking for specifically monochrome looks or just technicolor looks. It kind of just depends what I find. But all this to say, let's go grab some color, baby. There's my friend. Just kidding, but we could be friends. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're starting in the shoes today and I made a promise to myself I'm not allowed to buy any more black shoes because I have too many. So let's keep our peepers peeled for some funky colorful shoes and see what we can find. This is like a combination of the ballet flat trend, the Y2K trend, the square toe trend. These are so, I'm just gonna say it, ugly that I kind of like them. Let's try them. What a look. I did find some black Birkenstocks, which I'm not gonna get because they're black, and also I want $40 for them. You're crazy. Ooh, some vintage Bollies. Fancy. I think it's just like the unfortunate truth about shoes is that most of them are neutral colors. Lots of brown, lots of black, and if it is a bright color, it's usually because it's a heel. But I was able to find two colored pairs, actually three. So the first one is, these might look black, but they're actually like a mossy green. These are cool. They're kind of beat to crap, but I really love the shape. And then I found these. These are fun. We'll see if these fit. I also found these babies. I love the ruching here. The color is fun. They're too small for me. And also I would never wear that high of a heel. So these will go back and let's try on the other two. Okay, enough with the shoes. Let's look at some dresses. Distracted by home goods on the way to the dresses. This looks like it could be amazing. That's a lot of green and a lot of yellow. And what is this? Oh, the chimney. Interesting. Finally made it to the dresses and is this purple? Excuse me. Is this purple not everything? Is this purple everything? That's a better way to say that. Yes. I saw this dress had a vintage tag and I was like, what does that say? Urinations? Close, Kathleen, but not quite. I found another dress in this beautiful lilac-y color and it's a little fancier, but I love the idea of wearing something like this with just like <laughs> white sneaks. You're over here, not over here. I'm struggling with the camera today. Let's keep looking. Come with me. If we're going for a monochrome look with this suit, be perfect with those red boots I found? I think probably. Purple is just the color today. A little matching set. Another purple number. I don't really love this like paisley on here, but these buttons are so pretty. I found what seems to be a reversible cloak. You guys see this thing. Very chill, very normal. <gasps> I thought that was gonna be cooler than it was. I think I have a pretty colorful cart and that's just from the dresses. So let's go through jackets, tops, all those good things. Look at this. Certainly colorful and see what we find. How do we feel about this kind of optical illusion trench? Not super brightly colored, but very interesting. Like what is this pattern? Flipping through these coats and I found these gorgeous tapered leg Levi's. Too small for me, but wowee. The hottest movie of the summer. The sequel to Dale 1, Dale 2. Dale goes to the city. And that city is Xenia, Ohio. Oh gosh, this is cute. Maybe too cute? This looks like the twin of the other tablecloth dress I found in my last thrift with me. Aww. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this two-piece set is amazing. I feel like this is what Wilma Flintstone would wear if she was in the Jetsons. Does that make sense? Raise the roof, baby. A fashion icon. These are incredible. Oh, I definitely don't need them though. Oh, I still might get them though. Wow. 
think a little bag would be a great way to introduce some color into a look. This is interesting. Fun shape. There's no way that this is real, but I love the little checkerboard and the shape. So cute. Fuzzy blue friend. These two bags literally look like they're just for holding a bottle of wine. I could get down with that. Ooh, a subtle checkerboard. We meet again, dressing room. I realized I didn't give you a fit check yet, and I tried to dress for the rainbow occasion, so here I am. And here are the things I'm gonna try on. I feel like I have one of every color of the rainbow. So let's get to it. This definitely fits the assignment, but I don't think it fits me. This is pretty fun, but if she don't zip, she don't get. But this one, maybe? This is like objectively cute, but for some reason, no, I would not wear it. Why am I like this? Too big. I'm back, and I look like a rootin' tootin' cowgirl, I think. Am I entering my rodeo clown era? I am very excited to show you the colorful looks that I found, and I'm opting for monochrome looks, that is, one color looks, instead of the crazy technicolor looks, because I think these pieces just pull a nice statement all on their own. So without further ado, on with the duds, dude. Let's take a moment together and soak up the cuteness of this handmade puff sleeve dress. Okay, I cannot contain my excitement any longer. This color, are you kidding me? I think one of those oversized collars would be so cute over this. Maybe I should make some in a future video. Oh geez, don't get me started. Anyways, I also picked up these adorable handmade rosette earrings. Very neon, gives me vintage Betsy Johnson vibes. Add a little silk puffer moment and we are a whole bowl of macaroni and cheese. Delicious. This green suit gives me a bad attitude in the best way. I just feel so cool and slightly punk in this slime green number. So I paired it with a silk scarf for a top and we are set for a mean green spring, Kathleen. I also picked up this striped heart necklace that gives me slight circusy vibes because of the color combo. Oh, and the suit is handmade. Yeah, I know, incredible. I'm blue, I am blue, I am blue, I am blue, I am blue, I am... Okay, listen, I wanted an excuse to wear these gloves and I know it looks ridiculous. I know, just let me have this moment. Okay, that's slightly less unhinged. This dress is super cute with its matching flower buttons and 100% silk silhouette. Have you picked up yet that I like wearing silk? Anyways, this cobalt blue is such a power color for me and I could wear it every day. And at last, we have my final form, Art Camp Counselor Chic. Throw on a purple fanny pack and we're ready to make some lanyards campers. This pale lavender set is perfect for the spring season and I think it pairs well with these tulip earrings that I found in this stack of mini bead rainbow necklaces. I really grew my jewelry collection with this thrift trip and I'm not mad about it, not one bit. Ah uh, yes, tis time for the age old question. What'd you think? I think my favorite was a tie between the orange dress and the green suit. Little peas and carrots in the morning, never hurt anybody. But let me know what you think down in the comments below and thanks so much for joining me this week. If you'd like to be notified when I post my next video, feel free to subscribe if you'd like. And speaking of next videos, let's talk about last week's video. Y'all seem to really like my thrift, thrift flip. Still can't say it. So maybe I should do more of those in the future. Let me know what you think about that idea. That's all I've got for now, so I think it's time for you to get along, little doggy. I love you. Bye! <laughs>